What is going on guys? I'm out here with the dogs on the Saturday evening and I figured, you know what? I have not made a video in God knows how long. And all I do is work now. I work on customers' cars uh, and I buy and sell some cars. So these are staying in my fleet. Um, I'll do a video on the BMW. I'll do a video on the Caddy. I know it's a bomb. That's not what this video is for. This video is for what may shock some and other people are going to fall in love with Project 1985 Fiero. Um, I drove all the way to Virginia for this car. And I'll tell you why. One, it's getting hard to find these things at a fair price. Not the bad mouth fear owners, but a lot of these guys really feel like these things are like holy grails. And they'll be asking unreal numbers. I'm talking like $2,500 for a car that's just junk. Um, this car, unfortunately, somebody did a horrible paint job on. All that's got to come back off. I think that's why I was able to snag this deal. I think people showed up and they saw, holy crap, I got to strip the car. Uh, tons of overspray. I'm going to have to get all that cleaned off. It's everywhere. I'll show you. Uh, look back here. Here we go. See, it's, it's everywhere. Um, I haven't had time to even mess with anything other than put an alternator on there. Um, the owner of the car was starting to replace the alternator and a bolt broke off in the bracket. And I think he just said, you know what? I'm done. So I got the car. But real quickly, I got the car for $650. That's what I paid for this car. Now, I had to drive to what's called uh, Martinsville, Virginia. And I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. So if you map quest that, it's about a five and a half, six hour drive. So it was one hell of a drive, but I think it was worth it for me. 650 bucks. Um, the car, when I say rust free, I know people are going to go, oh, well, Travis, fiberglass. No, no, no. I went under, made sure it's okay. It's okay. But check this out. 107 thousand original miles hopefully no one's messed with the odometer it's possible i don't think so though because normally people want that 120 speedo and this still has the 80 so i'm pretty sure no one's tampered with it but um yeah guys so this is what i got uh the factory rims are missing i'm not sure how bad that bums me out i think those came off a of cavalier this car having four-wheel disc brakes, if I put some fancy rotors in there and paint the calipers red, yes, I know, tacky, but I'm going to do it. Those rims are going to expose it where it's going to look good in there. I'm wondering if I take the center caps and maybe get Pontiac center caps. Maybe those rims won't be so bad. I mean, you can comment below and say I'm a moron and Trav, the factory Pontiac rims are way better. I don't know. So, yeah, 650 bucks, My Fiero GT. So let's go ahead and start it. It's got an exhaust leak. Um, I'll just reach in here and let's just see if it'll start. Maybe it won't start. Maybe the battery's dead. That's promising. Come on! All right, it's running. So just like you would consider from the 80s cars, a lot of the plastic's messed up with the interior lights and everything. Um, interior lights. Yeah. They're working. Guess what else works? Listen closely to the motor. Hear it bogged down? I know you heard that. That's the air conditioner. It's getting cold. Holy crap. The AC works. <laughs> Now, obviously, there's an exhaust leak, so I'll shut the video off here. So, uh, I mean, shut the car off. Hear it. I mean, the motor don't sound all that bad, but there's a skip. Come in here. Hear that? Let me shut it off. Fiero GT. Isn't that cool? Um, there's a skip slightly concerning because someone's already changed out the plugs and the wires looks like the distributor cap rotor button 
Um, that's gonna leave one of two things. One, you get a bad cylinder, or two, maybe a fuel injector. We'll see. I know 3,800 swap, everybody does it, but with 107,000 original miles, I kind of would just like to leave it alone and see if I can't get it running good like that. But um, yeah, guys, let's do, uh, let's see what else I can show you. Hmm. More overspray, gotta be cleaned off. Cooling fan, all that kind of nonsense works. Oh, headlights, let's do that. See if I can get this thing down here. Here we go. Doing this one handed. What the heck? There we go. So, headlights. A little sluggish, but hey, they're up. I don't know, guys. I'm telling you, for 650 bucks, I may have got the best for Euro that you can get. Maybe not. I don't know. Someone will beat me. But, uh, yeah. So, here's the deal. Long story short, I had a little MG on the car trailer. And if you guys want to laugh, please do it now. I bought a car I couldn't get in. I didn't realize I couldn't get in the car. The MG, as bad as I wanted it to work, I bought a car that I couldn't get in. I can actually get in this car, and um, I had a white one, and I sold it, and I really regretted selling that car. This one, I've already done the title, it's mine, it's done, no plates till probably springtime, but more videos to come on Project Fiero. Uh, again, I want to kind of live with that motor, I think I'll pick like a day, and strip one panel, and then maybe strip another one, and not try to get overwhelmed by doing it all, but yeah what do you guys think comment below and you know you can say hey those rims aren't too bad or they look like crap and i don't really care i like this little car and i'm gonna have fun with it more videos to come on everything else so get ready because i'm firing this channel back up project fiero